What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Fresh Tofu, and today I am back at it again with some more Luna. This time I'm going to be checking out the YYYY teaser as well as the Left Forever MV featuring Grimes. So this is going to be one of two Luna videos this weekend you guys, obviously I got this one going on right here, but I'll also be checking out their cover to BTS's Fire, which is going to be amazing, like y'all have no idea, I love the choreography to Fire, it is in my opinion one of the best pieces of K-pop choreo like ever, and I'm so 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 looking forward to seeing Luna's take on it. So yeah, um, I'll have that video upload the same time I get this one up. This is it, you guys. We have finally made it. We are down to the last subunit, the final four, and I am so excited to finally get into this one. I've heard so many great things about this MV, but even more so, I can't wait to see what comes afterwards. I can't wait to see all 12 members finally come together as one to make Luna. That's what's going to be, you know, the biggest treat out of this entire, you know, trip through the Luniverse right here. Because since I started with the solo MVs, I've gotten to appreciate all the girls individually. You know, I've gotten to see all of them shine. And then I got to see them come together in their subunits where I'm like, oh, wow, like those four look great together. Those three look great together. And I'm sure this last four will look mind-blowing together. So, yeah, finally getting to see all these individuals, these stars come together to form the K-pop Avengers, you know? That's going to be such a treat. And, um, yeah, I, I can't wait to get into it. What? Has it always been like? No, no, it hasn't. No, it's always been white background with the colored moon. Okay, looks like the table from Go One's MV. Looks like it was only made for three, too. Okay. Yo, this background music. Ooh, that whistle, too. Ooh, okay. Wow, I just got news books. Oh, that was awesome. I love how they're like slowly turning like that. That was so cool. I just want to go back to this one table part here because I'm pretty sure I saw it was only made for three people. Let me pause right here. Okay, so we got, yeah, we got an apple. So that's for Eve. Strawberry for Chu. And I can't tell what that is. Is that, is that a plum? Is that, is that for Olivia or is that, well, it's kind of small actually. Or well, like a fat cherry or a group of fat cherries. I don't know. It could be a plum. But regardless, there's no seat there. So, what? Oh, no, no, no. So in Go One's MV, Chu and Eve were sitting at this table. So, and Go One was at the top of the table. But Go One's fruit is is a pineapple. So, I, I don't know. Oh, here. oh, okay. Just kidding. So pineapple's right there at the end of the table. So yeah, it's like Go One's MV where she was at the end of the table. And Eve and Chu were at the other end. So I guess that, that last fruit was a plum, maybe? For like Olivia? But there, there's no chair there for her. So I don't know. Is, is that why is that why she was so angry in her MV? Was she like left that left out of the table here? You know, besides, besides Eve dropping her. Um Okay, okay. Yeah, that's that, that's all I got from this whole situation. Oh, okay, that shows the bed on fire. And this music, man, this freaking background music. God, is this, is this what the MV's gonna sound like? In this part, when they all slowly turn around together like that, that was so cool. I love their little emblem thing, too. Okay. That was a pretty sweet, that was a pretty sweet teaser. Um, a lot shorter than the Odd Eye Circle one. I think that one was like a few minutes long. Um, but, you know, enough to give me the goosebumps, enough to get me hyped up about the MV. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I cannot wait to, uh, check that one out. So I just got done with the teaser, and honestly, I wasn't really able to pull much from it. It was pretty short, only like 40 seconds long, uh, compared to the Odd Eye Circle teaser, which was, I think, like a couple minutes long. Um, so, yeah, based on the short amount of time I had, I wasn't able to really pull much from what was going on there, outside of the table, which I had paused for earlier. Um, I'm pretty bad at this whole, like, observing thing and, like, you know, coming up with theories and whatnot. So, um, yeah, although it was a very cool 40 seconds, I love the background music. I really hope they use it in the MV because that is, it, it got me all kinds of excited. And with the whistle part that came in and, I don't know, it gave me goosebumps, right? 40 seconds gave me some goosebumps. So it was an outstanding 40 seconds. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get into this MV because right now I'm, that teaser really didn't do much for me in helping me understand the setup outside of the, the table being set for three like is that one of the reasons why olivia is a bit angry or at least you know symbolically you know does it represent something i don't know but i guess i'm about to find out
Alright, I was not expecting that right there. I, I was thinking that the music would sound more like the teaser, but um, this feels like it's going to be very upbeat. Alright, yeah, very upbeat. So yeah, it looks like three of them were heading off that a little- Aww. So, okay, that was actually kind of creepy towards the end right there. Like, I felt sad for her, and then like things got dark. But, um, yeah, so they looked like they went off to the woods without her. Wow, very cute choreo, by the way. Kind of like, kind of like the exact opposite of what I'm seeing on screen right now. Like, this, uh, what I'm seeing is very, honestly kind of creepy. Like, dark and kind of creepy, but like, the music sounds so cheerful and the choreo looks so cute. But, uh, I'm thinking this is Eden right here. Because they're all together right now, and... Yeah, yeah, Eve's already like... Eve's already like drifting off right here, so... This is probably like before she decides to bail. And, yeah, she's trying to bail right now. She notices, and yeah. You know she was all about Eve, so... Okay. Yeah, like when they're not showing the choreo, and they're not like happily singing... This envy is kind of creepy, kind of dark. God, they're all so gorgeous too. Like every single time I zoom in on them, I'm like, my God, they're all beautiful. Alright, so yeah, now Eve's converted two over. Looks like they're trying to get going now. Olivia's kind of just eavesdropping there. What? Oh, they ignore her? Oh, that's lame! I'm not digging those mean mugs right there, come on now. Alright, chowing down on some roses? Are roses edible? No, they have to be. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they're edible. Like, they put them on cakes and stuff. Oh, yes. That's very cool how they filmed that, but it's kind of creepy and kind of sad, too, because they keep showing, like, Olivia by herself. Alright, so that headmistress, she's probably god. I'm, I'm assuming she's probably god in all this. All oh, super strict. That like bums me out seeing Olivia by herself. God, I didn't like how they're like ignoring her like that. I don't want looking back. Take her with you. Cause yeah, in Olivia's MV, she got dropped by Eve. So. I got, I got something in the back of my mind right now. I'll wait till this is over before I start talking about it. Looks so sad. Yeah, like, very cute choreo, but when they show these scenes, it's like super creepy and depressing. Oh, she finally approves. What? So someone get this one part coming up right here where Look, he's walking in, and it looks like the three of them are kind of just like talking to each other, and then they just start like ignoring her, and they they like leave the table and they just bail on her, you know. So, yeah, in Olivia's MV, it looked like she was not the happiest person. Um, you know, I I kind of came to the conclusion that Eve was the one that dropped her down to that one pit because they showed um the wolf plushie getting dropped by that one crane, which, you know, in Eve's MV, she was playing with the crane. So, I don't know, in this one, like, looks like Eve and all the other girls are kind of ignoring her. But I'm like, part of me is kind of wondering why? Okay, so, this MV, I, I, in my mind, I was treating it like a prequel, but it's like, it's kind of not a prequel. It's like, um, okay, so, yeah, this is when they're in, in, in Eden. They're all together at this point. And then Eve wants to bail. And then Chu wants to bail with Eve. And then they commence go on to bail. 
But at this point, Olivia is still a part of all this. Um, so, so this does this movie take place after Go On, but before Olivia's envy? Because okay, because all the girls they to leave Eden, they have to love themselves, right? That's the theme. That's been the ongoing theme with this last subunit is loving yourself. So those three girls love themselves, so they left Eden. But Olivia, I don't think she... She didn't start loving herself until after she was abandoned. So maybe that was, like... That's, like, the key to leaving. Like, that, that's why they, they were kind of, like, shunning her, you know, because she didn't love herself. I mean, I thought it was kind of, like, a mean way to go about it, um, like, just completely ignoring her like that. But if that's if that's the case, then it's like, okay, so, you know, Eve, she's all about, okay, you know, love myself, I'm gonna go. Uh, Chew, you know, learn to love yourself, then I'll acknowledge you, then you come with me, and then, you know, go on, love yourself, she's going too. Um, but yeah, in Olivia's MV, she hadn't yet started to love herself yet, not until, like, you know, halfway through or something like that, when she really started to love herself, like, she took self-love to uh, the next level right there. Um, so... This, okay, okay. So, I'm trying to I'm trying to play like devil's advocate here, um, because right now I'm just like I I want to be like salty towards Eve because I, I feel like just on the surface it looks like she did Olivia dirty by like turning all the other girls against her, um, but at the same time I'm like okay no, Eve's thing was about self love and she didn't acknowledge Chu, so she's kind of being cold towards Chu until Chu started to love herself. And then when Chu started to love herself, then she acknowledged Chu. And I don't remember if she had to convince Go On. I think Go On just kind of figured it out on her own. And then she just joined the group. Or no, they were pursuing. Chu and Eve were pursuing Go On. Um, and then when she started to love herself, then they had their own little love yourself click. But I guess. I guess. If I'm trying to play devil's advocate here, Eve only wanted Olivia to come with if she truly loved herself. And as we know, in her MV, that hadn't happened yet. Not until after she was dropped. So maybe, maybe even though they didn't show it, I wish they would have, you know, just to kind of confirm my little theory right now. But um, maybe Eve tried to, you know, get Olivia to come with. You know, that's why when she was picking up the plushie doll. But maybe Olivia just wasn't ready to love herself yet. So Eve, in her way of doing things, was like, all right, well, I guess you're not ready. Bloop, dropped her, and then, yeah, and then took off with the others, um, which is why Olivia's by herself. Um, and I, I don't know, but God, Olivia looks so sad in this. I felt so bad for her. Um, yeah, I don't... I think okay. That, I think that's my, my theory right now, and I'm sorry that you guys are having to watch me like do this. I might not even upload this part, um, but yeah, I'm like oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure this. This seems a lot more straightforward than all the other MVs I've checked out thus far. So I think I'm onto something. I mean, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I, I just that that's that's kind of where I'm at. So yes, okay. To to run it through here, wanted to leave Eden once she once she started to love herself. And she wanted to take her friends with her. But she would only take her friends with her once they learned to love themselves as well. So she tried to take Olivia with her. But Olivia wasn't ready to love herself yet. Um, so she was like, she dropped her. And like, basically like, blocked her off. You know, which is why she was like, ignoring her. And having other girls ignore her and stuff like that. Um, in kind of a like, I don't know if you want to call it tough love. But like, you know, learn to love yourself, then you come with. You know, that kind of deal. So... Olivia was kind of stuck by herself in Eden, which didn't seem like a very happy place, so that super strict headmistress. Um, until finally in her MV, which I believe happens after this one, where she's like, she's had enough, and she's ready to love herself, and then leave, leave uh, Eden on her own. But uh, yeah, that's, I think, I think, I think that's where I'm at right now. I think that's where I'm at. I'm sure you guys will be able to <laughs> clarify in the comments section. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm leaning at right now, uh, with this whole situation here. And oh my god, I feel so freaking bad for Olivia. Like, 
gosh, she needs some love. Like I really, I really want to see some behind the scenes stuff where I want the members just loving her because she's the Machne and that's what you do. You gotta love on your Machne. Um, so I really, I'm sure, I'm sure they love her. I'm sure the other members love her to death. But they, they they're so good at acting, where I was just like, oh god, they're being so mean to her. Like why? So god, I, I'm sure, I'm sure Eve, Go On, and Chu absolutely adore Olivia. It's just in this. MV, they sell it so well. It's just being cold blooded and just like, like mean girls kind of. Um, and she sold it so well, just being all sad and stuff. And then her last MV with being all angry, like man, yo, know, these girls, if they if they decide to you know call it quits on being idols, I think they got acting careers you know lined up for them because yeah, some great great acting chops. I bought into it. Um, but yeah, really overall, really great MV. Um, I love the music. It wasn't what I was expecting. Very upbeat, and I, but very good. I, I like the song a lot. Uh, choreo was very cute. I'm curious if they have a dance practice or like a choreo version. It'd be cool to check out. Um, but yeah, yeah, really, really good stuff right here. Um, and very, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like very opposite of what I was seeing. Like the music and the choreo was super cute, super cheerful. And then like what we saw on screen was just so like dark and kind of brooding and honestly kind of creepy like i don't do horror okay i don't do horror whatsoever so those scenes were like olivia was kind of like brooding by herself and like you know you can see kind of flat like random flashes of things i'd be like oh, i was getting kind of like you know got a little creeped out there um so very very neat how that was done um but anyways guys yeah that was uh that was the mv for uh, love forever featuring grimes and you know great stuff y'all saw the reaction really like this one um, I don't feel as confused as I have in the past, which is a good thing. Um, so hopefully I'm on the right track here. Uh, and obviously I'm sure you guys will be able to, uh, clarify in the comment section down below. I think plot wise, I'm pretty sure I'm caught up, right? Unless, uh, well, actually, no, 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 no. The, the main, the, the 12 member Luna MVs, like I'm sure those have plot things as well. So, I mean, I guess moving forward, if, if there is plot, then, you know, don't, try not to spoil it for me, please. Or at least like, you know, give me a disclaimer. Like, hey, everything below here is spoiler filled. But if you have anything to talk about in this one, in clarification, anything I missed, uh, please, by all means, like, let me know. I'm all about learning, you guys. Like, you guys have been so good at that ever since I started with this, uh, with this Luniverse. Like, you guys have been so good at, like, you know, filling me in on things I missed. Like, all these little fun facts. I love it. I absolutely love it. Never feel afraid about, like, writing a novel, okay? I know some of you guys, like, you write a bunch of things and then you apologize for it like oh, i'm sorry there's a long post like no I'd never apologize about that stuff okay i love absolutely love reading your guys' long comments it's always so interesting to see your your theories and like these fun facts that i've missed out on so um thank you so much but yeah guys uh thank you so much for checking me out if you like what you see go ahead hit that like button if you like some more subscribe and if you have any comments questions concerns recommendations please by all means leave them down in the comment section below and i will check them out Thanks again, you guys, and I will either see you in my Luna BTS fire video or next week, or, you know, I'm posting a bunch of other videos, so if, you know, you want to check out some other artists, you'll find me there. But yeah, guys, uh, take it easy, and I will see you around <laughs> later.